Hello and welcome to the very first edition of Katie's Quick Reviews. Will this be a series? I don't know. We'll find out. Today I am talking about Nunc Chapey, a new book from Blessed Is She. They literally released it yesterday. I had the privilege of being sent one. This is not sponsored. This is not for review. I just want to share my thoughts on it in case you're looking for something that is a year-long prayer companion for you, for your spouse, for your friend, for your mom. You get it. This will be a short review. It will not be in depth. I will also link their website so that you can kind of see more details if you're looking for more details. It's like Facebook groups, videos to go with it. I mean, like the list is long in terms of resources to support this beautiful little book of prayer. I love that it's tiny. I love that it has this little marker for me because I easily forget things. I love that it's like hard enough to not get ruined, but soft enough to be a cutie little bendy little softy prayer book. Love that for me. It also came with this sweet little prayer card that has the Nook Chafee prayer on the back. So I love that, keeping that in there. Let's just take a quick look inside. Here's the table of contents. You have the introduction and the different sections, a meditation appendix, uh, sources and prayers and epilogue. And then here you have a breakdown of the flow of the book. So it kind of tells you how on Sunday, there's like a section from a spiritual writer. Monday, it invites you into prayer through Lexio Divina or Psalms. Saturday, it helps you to incorporate through journaling or reflection questions. And then it goes on to talk about how there's three separate sections of 17 weeks and how the first is based on the practice and presence of God, the second on self-abandonment and divine providence, and the last on he and I, which is one of my favorite books. Quick daisy break. Hey girl! So much yellow. Okay, here's a little look at the sections. I did this one this morning since it's Thursday. And I love that there is ample space for notes in the back here on Saturdays. Here are two excerpts from Sunday and Monday. And you can see that there is a space to write the date, but it is not dated. So it could literally go at whatever pace, whatever time frame you want it to be. This is one of my favorite sections, the area for uh, methods of meditation according to St. Ignatius, as well as St. Francis de Sales, and then various prayers in the back in addition. I love that it is minimal while still being beautiful and useful. I love that it makes me feel invited into prayer in a way that is doable for me without being just like so intense. I literally sat down this morning when Daisy woke up, my daughter woke up and just read through Thursday's prayer uh, and kind of contemplated on the prompts and she did that and it was great. I think this would make a great gift. I think it would be really great for your own personal prayer if you're really kind of like needing something to guide you during this time, especially throughout the year when we don't have liturgical prompts for like Lent and Advent and all that stuff. I know we have things for the Easter season, but I just love that this little companion could last you all year long. Okay, that's it. That's my quick take. So much for watching. If you like this, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna see more of Katie's quick takes, let me know in the comments what kind of things you'd like me to review or share about, and I'd be happy to put together like a five minute or less video. I don't know, if you're like me, I just wanna just see it. I just wanna see it. Just give me the details. Just give me like the quick details. I don't want a whole 20 minute video tutorial thing. I just wanna know like yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, you know?